Hi friends and welcome to my kitchen. No, not gonna be a food vlogger. I'm not a food vlogger. Nowhere near that, but I am here because I am an Enneagram 2, which is the helper, and I wanna help. And a lot of you asked for help when you saw my Instagram stories a couple days ago, sharing that I was prepping some frozen crock pot meals, and you're like, how did you do it? Tell me your ways. So here I am to help you uh, get some frozen crock pot meals ready. I made five different recipes. I shopped at Aldi for all of my stuff. If you have an Aldi near you, you are blessed. <laughs> I apologize if you aren't a meat person. These meals are centered around meat. That's really all I know. I grew up with grandparents who were butchers and so we plan the meat and then the rest of the meal falls into place. If you know me, you know that I like quick, easy, get it done, but still tastes really good. And so that's what I did here. I didn't want to spend a ton of time prepping like I have in the past, cutting up lots of onions, lots of garlic, lots of peppers, all the things. There are some amazing frozen crock pot recipes out there where you can have multiple ingredients that take a lot longer to prep. I wanted to keep the whole process quick, easy, and simple. So I chose recipes that had just very few ingredients. So I didn't have to go to the store and scour like 50 ingredients for each of these recipes. I wanted to keep the prep simple, so I chose a lot of things where I'm just throwing meat and a sauce and maybe a veggie in, and then I wanted the cooking process to be easy, and my best, most favorite thing is the crock pot. So I have five recipes that I chose for this round of freezer meals. I chose teriyaki chicken, sweet and sour chicken, Hawaiian chicken, party pork, and beef and gravy. And from those five recipes, I doubled them all, so we have 10 meals, but I guarantee you, one of these bags being one meal for us will go a lot farther than one actual meal. So at, at least two meals, this will probably give us three. Sometimes it'll give us a lunch, who knows? So numerous meals in one bag, a total of 10 bags, five recipes doubled. All right, so again, I went shopping at Aldi, which is just my favorite and just so inexpensive and I love it. Um, none of this is like super, I'm not promoting like super healthy foods. I'm just promoting meals, food. So the first recipe people look at is teriyaki chicken. It's super simple. The way that I buy chicken and with all of the chicken recipes that you see, I buy at Aldi. They have like a big family pack. That's how you get it the best price per pound. Buy the big family pack, cut it in half, which is essentially I think about two and a half chicken breasts throw two and a half chicken breasts in, in this, and then I throw them in another bag so that I have my other bag ready to go. The teriyaki is literally just this teriyaki Asian sauce. I didn't make my own, just dumped it in, added some fresh broccoli. I did cut up some fresh broccoli for this, mostly because I hadn't really thought ahead. Since this is a recipe that I do make often, I just didn't think of getting the frozen vegetables. Sometimes I have extra in my freezer. I didn't this time around, no big deal. You can get frozen broccoli, you can get a mix where it's like, carrots, cauliflower, broccoli, whatever you want. Um, throw it in there and you're good to go. Simple, like takes two minutes. So the next recipe is the sweet and sour chicken recipe. And you guys, it's the exact same idea, just not teriyaki sauce. Instead, you use the sweet and sour sauce. I'm actually making that for our dinner tonight. If you don't wanna put the vegetables in with it, you can put fresh ones in that day, the day that you throw it, throw it in the crock pot. You can roast vegetables. I always make a rice as a side. Um, with these things, I just like that. So again, same idea with the teriyaki, just change up the sauce and have sweet and sour. So we won't have those back-to-back -back nights, but we, we like sauces. The next recipe is a newer fave for us within the last year or so, we've really loved this. Um, I found a recipe for Hawaiian chicken bowls, and so I just turned it into freezer meals by putting the barbecue sauce with the chicken ahead of time because it just makes it a little easier, especially when I'm buying those bulk chicken. This is why the freezer meals, meals are helpful because we don't ever eat all that chicken at one time. So to have the chicken thawed before it goes in the freezer and then in these bags ready to go with the sauce is amazing. Add the barbecue sauce. I added peppers to this uh, this one. I, I then thought I probably shouldn't have done that because our kids, they're not gonna like the peppers. We're gonna be picking peppers out for so long. Oh well. You can serve this over rice, over noodles, but however you wanna eat it. But then on top of this, you can slice up a little fresh raw onion, um, put that on top, add a little pineapple. So there are additional things to do day of, but this just makes it easier to throw it in and know what you're doing that day and run to the store while this is cooking for you all day long. 
So that's it for the chicken. Next we went to the party pork. Um, this is a new recipe, so I haven't tried it, so I can't give you a review on it yet. All the other ones I know are good. Good, easy, quick, yum. This is party pork. I literally bought a thing of pork butt. I think it was like $11 or something. I cut it in half, put half here, half here. I guarantee you this will last us a long time. I'm sure this will make like some kind of pulled pork like sandwiches. This you just add some ketchup, some jelly, and allspice. I didn't have allspice, but I do have clove and cinnamon. There might have been a little bit of something else that I threw in there. Just makeshift just to add the spice we like spices so any of these you could add your own spices too if you prefer like when once you start cooking it up um but this is just going to be really good and fun to have and this will surely last many 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 meals the last recipe is beef and gravy i bought two beef chuck roasts threw them in here and then added oh my word it's so heavy you add two cans of cream of mushroom soup as well as an envelope of the onion soup and some beef broth. I think that's about it. I will have all these recipes at the end of the video so you can screenshot them and save them. But the really great thing is I now have meals for over a month, for sure. I'm less likely to go out to eat. And well, granted, I still have to prep, you know, like maybe I'll make mashed potatoes with that. I'll still have to prep the sides to eat along with it. It just feels so good to have like the main meal taken care of because choosing the main meal for me is always the hardest thing to overcome. The sides, you can whip something up easy. So I spent in total $83.23 on all of this food, meaning divide that by 10 since I made 10 bags. Each bag is gonna cost $8.23. That's a family of four, but each bag is sure to guarantee our family at least two meals, probably more. So if you divide it in half, at least one meal for a family of four is $4.16 that's like just over a dollar per person per meal. Granted, that's not adding the sides, but a bag, a five pound bag of rice at Aldi is like $5. So that's gonna last you a long time too. <laughs> In my current season of life, like I want quick prep, good eating. So hopefully you get some of that with some of these recipes. If you have any questions, put it in the comment below. If this is helpful to you, I'm so happy that satisfies my soul. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being in my kitchen and I'll see you next time.